Coming up next on Must See and OCTV, a special edition, The Olympic Dream in Pursuit of Perfection, the inspirational story of two Olympic gymnasts, Li Xiaoping and his wife, Jia Wen, the owners of the elite South Coast Gymnastics Training Center in Orange County, California. How did these two natives of China climb to the pinnacle of their sport, recruited as little kids to become elite Olympians? How are they sharing their lifetime of experience in the East to coach talented American gymnasts in the West? And how do they bridge two of China's greatest Olympic heroes ever? First, their own star teammate, the legendary Li Ning, who later created China's number one sports brand. And second, the couple's new son-in-law, Li Xiaopeng, now the most decorated Chinese Olympian ever. Greetings from Newport Beach, I'm Farlan Chang and welcome to Must See in OC TV. Get ready for some of the most inspirational success stories and the visionaries who fuel their success. These leaders help explain why many cities in OC are ranked among the best places in America to live, work, play and study. We're proud to partner with the Business Alliance of Orange County, and we're thrilled to celebrate the merchants who help make OC one of America's best places to be. Get ready, must see an OC TV starts now. Welcome to South Coast Gymnastics Training Center. This is what you will find when you combine the best of East and West. When devoted coaches and parents from China and America unite to help young people perform at their peak. And the pursuit of perfection transcends all boundaries. Hold it. South Coast is the only gym in Southern California owned and operated by a former world champion and Olympian. Who is he? Li Xiaoping, one of China's greatest sports heroes, seen here in 2008 visiting Beijing to help his native land host the Summer Olympics. Back in the 84 games in Los Angeles, Xiaoping became one of China's first world champion gymnasts. Recruited as a young boy with naturally long arms, Xiaoping reigned as the world champion on the pommel horse and later helped his team capture a silver medal in LA. He would later marry his teammate, Jia Wen, who was part of China's world champion silver medal team. Today, they are retired, coaching Olympic hopefuls in America and teaching to the West what they learned growing up in the East. Like I tell my own kids, just don't, don't give up and never give up. Xiaoping says winners need three things, raw talent, self-confidence, and the will to win. If you can lead yourself, it's nine is very powerful. Xiaoping challenges his students to challenge themselves and practice for perfection. And to overcome pressure on the big day, just go in like it's another day at the gym. Li Xiaoping, China's national homecoming king, bridging east and west, and one of the world's best. My name is Simpty Wang, 17 years old, and I've been doing gymnastics for 13 years. He started here when he was just four years old, and is working with his coaches to make his dream come true. Hopefully down the road in my gymnastics, I could make an Olympic team, you know, compete for the U.S. Having USA on your chest is always a great feeling. This year, Timothy is the all-around U.S. national champion for level 10. And he also took first place in the pommel horse, the same event on which his coach once reigned as the world's very best. Good, good. And Timothy's success has landed him a full scholarship with the U.S. Air Force. The most important thing they taught me is to never give up and keep fighting. And also, gymnastics pushes you mentally and physically, so it's also a great challenge to overcome. From the U.S. to China and beyond, gymnastics is one of the most popular Olympic sports. Olympic fans love seeing athletes at their peak compete in a test of strength, balance, flexibility, and grace. 
gymnast must also have the courage to perform the most difficult tricks and the confidence to compete under the greatest pressure. In this year of the dragon, filled with the promise of good fortune, China is preparing to again make history at the 2012 Olympics in London. One of the most talented gymnasts on China's team of elite stars, and one of the youngest. This native daughter of Guangxi province started at age four. She made it onto the gymnastics team of Zhejiang province at age seven, and then the national team at age 11. In 2008, in Beijing, athletes from China won 51 gold medals, the most gold for any nation, and the first time China has led the gold count in its Olympic history. On the uneven bars last year, she captured gold in Shanghai and silver in Beijing. How does this young teenager conquer her nerves? Concentration and focus. Her role model? Chen Fei. Team captain Chen Fei, because Chen trains harder than anyone. And when competing, she's stable and fearless. The lowest point in Zhang's career, being discouraged by others, then calling her mom to say she wanted to quit, who then told her, be brave and don't give up. And what's her secret of success? Train hard eight hours a day, five days a week. Listen to great coaches and be brave. Li Xiaoping in Jia Wen's Pursuit of Gold offers a window into the lives of China's best gymnasts. How are they picked, coached, and groomed to become champions by China's sports factory? How is their own training in the East influencing them as they coach gymnasts in the West? I don't like to see that kind of attitude. And how are they enjoying the best of both worlds, serving as second parents to many young gymnasts in America, while still being remembered as national heroes in China? These national heroes include stars from past and present. From the 2004 games in Athens, superstar celebrities such as Liu Xiang, China's first ever men's Olympic gold winner in track and field, injured in 2008 and now hoping for a big comeback in 2012. Lu Xiang is now a singer, movie star, and millionaire endorser of everything from cars to clothes and mobile phones to soft drinks. And from 20 years earlier. As smooth and crisp as we have come to expect from the Chinese. 1984, Li Xiaoping, one of China's first world champion gymnasts during the Los Angeles Games. Now retired and coaching Olympic hopefuls on the other side, in America. Then and now, they are Chinese Olympians who win glory for their nation. While many younger stars, such as Liu Xiang, stay in their motherland, enjoying new heights of fame and fortune, some veterans, such as Li Xiaoping, relocate to new worlds, it's better, but not enough. sharing the lessons of their old ways. Young or old, they all find themselves forever changed, while changing those around them. Li Xiaoping changed from a boy with long arms into a world champion on the pommel horse, whose team won a silver medal. He changed growing up under China's Soviet-style sports system. Coach basically control everything in your life for the kids. It's more like your parents. His wife remembers too. <laughs> early 80s, Zhao Wen was part of China's world champion silver medal team. Later, she coached the women's team. Today, they run their own gymnastics school outside Los Angeles. American parents bring their children here first for fun, second for competition. Coach Jia says the U.S. system is the total opposite of the system in China, in which the state chooses and invests in the most talented kids and grooms them. This is not meant to set up for you to enjoy the sport. It's produce a top gymnast, produce champion. And China is producing lots of them. China's rank for winning the most medals, fourth in Atlanta, third in Sydney, second in Athens, second in Beijing, only one spot to go. China is counting on a one-two punch. First, a strong team with new and old talent. Second, payback from the hundreds of millions of dollars the state has invested in sports programs. This is the famed Shisha High Sports School in Beijing, which has produced 25 world champions, even Jet Li long before his action movies. During the 2004 games in Athens, this one school alone surpassed the nation of Canada by producing three individual and two team gold medals. 
In the gym, dozens of half pints wearing leotards, or just their underwear, run, jump, and flip across the floor. Balance on beams, rock from rings, and swing from bars, over and over and over until they get it right. It is very hot. You know, you get up and six o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, start run. Whether you you know snow, whether windy day, you just keep doing it. The school has 600 students trained by 80 coaches, such as Li Xiaohua. Very good sport. Yeah, for, for you the body, for you the mind. They train year round, from volleyball to badminton, wushu to weightlifting, and from tennis to taekwondo. This female gold medalist, Chen Zhang, trains with the men, and they don't hold back. This is just one of 3,000 sports schools in China. Some Western critics accuse them of abusing children with a harsh Soviet-era mentality of win at all costs. China's coaches respond by saying discipline and order are needed to improve performance. We respect them. And we're afraid of them too. Zha Wen recalls being like these young kids, handpicked by scouts with the right size, body, and moves. The scouts persuaded Zha's parents to send her to the army sports school, where she would live for the next 12 years. I cried the whole way. It's just like so sad. I leave. I left my family, and I miss them. But kids are taught to persevere. At least they'll get a good education. At best, they'll win for their motherland. When does it become fun? It took three years for Ja after she made the national team at age 13. That's when I know that I'm actually good at it. You know, I mean, you starting to know why. It paid off. China ensures the payoff by applying the science of sports, nourishing athletes with the healthiest foods. Eat more tofu and eat more soybean products. Applying traditional Chinese medicines such as acupuncture, using physiology to select the ideal bodies, and teaching psychology to stress mind over matter. To overcome pressure, Li Xiaoping teaches his own students to treat every competition like practice, and every practice like competition. I'm just competing with myself, my routine. <laughs> I don't compete with any other pe people. Because of China's success, champions such as Li Xiaoping are recruited overseas. And now you know why he's so good on floor exercise. Huh? And that eventually leads Coach Xiaoping and Zha on their path to immigrate to America and start their gymnastics center 16 years ago. Li Xiaoping is honored that he can share the discipline his coaches taught him, and his students echo that. Yeah, it was tougher and stricter, but it was one of those things where it was uh, almost like a tough love. Parents love it. They want us to discipline them, and they need it to be. So we do. It's tough discipline, but loving discipline. The one thing that really distinguishes South Coast over the rest, I think, is their commitment to the kids. They, they are very committed to all the children, not just the ones with talent. When parents putting their kids in their hands, and I like to think it, that's the greatest trust. Coach Zha and Xiaoping felt their training must be a unique combination of East and West. They know that in China, the state chooses who will become Olympic stars, while in America, families choose whether to invest in their children. And knowing most kids will not make the Olympics, and those who do require the greatest luck, Coach Xiaoping and Zha wanted to teach life skills everyone can use all their lives. So me and Xiaoping, we were all thinking, besides gymnastics, besides produce them to become a great champion, besides they're great in this sport, what else we can give to them? So I would love to also teach them discipline, focus, commitment, Learn how to fall and get up and also teach them teamwork, set up a goal, and most like most we want to teach them is work hard, never give up, and just work hard towards your goal. That is the only way 
you near success. Because to us, I think these are something that we can give to them so they can also benefit in their future. Without a doubt, there's so much I can learn from here. I mean, patience, hard work, confidence, there's so much I've learned from this place. What the basic philosophy of a South Coast Gymnastics is to participate and excel. Participate basically is everyone you know, enjoy gymnastics, like I tell all my students or parents, and three years of gymnastics benefit for life. At least three years of gymnastics can benefit you for life. Another favorite slogan here, your dreams are our goals. Allison Bellingham says those are not just slogans, they are the real deal. After training here for more than 10 years, she and her twin sister Amy have earned full scholarships to San Jose State. Yeah, I'm just going to say I would not be the same person without this sport. Like, just my whole life has just been determined on what I've learned. And I would say probably the best thing I've learned is that you need to trust yourself in everything you do, no matter what. So that's really will carry me through life. They have really just taught me not only just how to do gymnastics, but how to be a team member, how to love the sport, how to really put, put my heart into what I do. And um, they're just really um, my role models. Like, I really look up to them. It really has taught me to overcome my obstacles and really just, um, you know, just take strength and, and believing in myself and just persevering through all the hard times because when you have that determination and you come out of a hard time, it just feels so good and you feel like you've accomplished so many things. These two senior standouts have been commuting from San Diego and Riverside, three hours a day, five days a week for as long as 10 years. They are part of the largest class of seniors graduating in South Coast history. And the hard work has paid off, with gymnasts earning scholarships to UC Berkeley, UCLA, and UC Irvine. What's fun is it gets a goal in life. It sets a goal that I could work up to. I mean, it motivates me, not just in gymnastics, but also in school, life, anything else. It motivates me to go further and step it up a little bit everywhere. What they taught me is hard work will always get you what you want, so just try hard in everything you do. And the best thing that I've learned from my coaches is to always persevere and to overcome any obstacles that come my way. Um, well, definitely the time management, self-discipline, and just the lessons from my coaches, just like trying hard every day and living it to the fullest. Were their coaches and second parents, were their friends, you know, when they're young, we're babies. <laughs> I mean, we, we just, I miss them. I think that's a simple word that I do. We do have a hard time to send them away. At the team's annual awards banquet, parents thank the coaches for teaching their kids the right stuff in the right way. It's competitive, it's, it's educational, and through that she has some of her, uh, her best friends. That's, it's a big family. It's more of a family atmosphere. Yeah. And we like that a lot. I think she has seen that by working hard she can become better and really achieve anything that she sets out to achieve. Li Ning is perhaps the best example of a sports hero whose rising star has paralleled China's climb to the elite level. In the LA Games, he won more medals than any other athlete with six. And he went on to build a household name for sports products that has outperformed even Nike and Adidas. Following in the footsteps of Li Ning and Li Xiaoping and their Olympic success of 1984, one generation later, a young new star has emerged, three-time Olympian and multi-world champion Li Xiaopeng. In 2008, Xiaopeng won two Olympic gold medals for men's team and parallel bars, and those medals earned him 16 world titles, more than any other gymnast in China. Surpassing even the great Li Ning himself. But perhaps Li Xiaopeng's biggest prize would come two years later, outside the gym.
when he married the daughter of Li Xiaoping and Jia Wen, a Chinese American named Angel Li, a lovely and talented gymnast herself. They enjoyed a glorious wedding in Orange County in 2010. Star-studded guests included Li Xiaoping's fellow gold medal teammates. And so the family tradition of gymnastics continues into the next generation. Coach Jia and Xiaoping are overjoyed their immediate family is getting bigger through marriage. And they are elated their extended family is getting bigger through their beloved South Coast gym. I can see every possibility. There's so much I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss my friends for sure. I've been with them for so long. My coaches who are like my second parents. I'm going to miss all my teammates because we've gotten so close. We're all like sisters. And then my coaches are like a second pair of parents. So we're just all a big family. At this year's annual banquet, the graduating seniors shared their heartfelt appreciation to parents, teammates, and coaches, including this emotional message from Allison Bellingham to Coach Ja and Xiaoping. You and Jar are the best coaches a gymnast could ask for, but it feels strange referring to you both as just my coaches. Somehow I feel that the word coaches is shallow and inadequate. Perhaps mother and father is a little more appropriate, because really, that's what both of you have been. Gymnastics is just a small part of the gift you've given me. You've raised me, taught me the most important lessons in life. I think when kids telling us that they love us, when they're not little kids, when they're older, and they show they, they will miss us, I do believe from the bottom of my heart, they're seriously my other kids. When she visits China, Coach Jia says her former Olympic teammates remind her that she and Xiaoping could have stayed in China and coached many famous Olympic stars. But Jia says they have no regrets. What I know is what I gain. I, um, I got two kids versus China. I love kids, so if I stayed in China, I could only have one. So I said I have two kids and I have my own gym and I learned another language I um, learned another culture and lived with it and most importantly is I got to meet and know and teach and have them live in my life with all these kids in a family and I don't think any success to replace that. It's priceless. The experience of to get to this point, it's priceless. There's no way that I would have thinking that I go the other route of in my life. I'm happy. I feel very lucky and uh, I love gymnastics and gymnastics gave me you know, everything I have. And how does Li Xiaoping's own coach in China feel about his star gymnast moving from China to America and uniting East and West? His coach smiled and told me, that's the beauty of the Olympics. It has the unique power to transcend all borders. Great landing. Coming up in our next edition of Must See and OC TV, Incredible India. Welcome to the Ekta Center, named after the Sanskrit word for unity. Bridging past and present, east and west, and India, one of the world's oldest cultures with America, one of the youngest. Based in Irvine, Ekta Center serves all of Orange County, connecting old and new, parents and children, students and teachers. Learn how Ekta celebrates the traditional arts and culture of India and its timeless traditions through dance, music, theater, and arts. India is really a, a, a microcosm of the world. And in that sense, if some of those experiences that we can create for the Indian community can be transferred onto the broader community, I think it will be a great opportunity for all of us 
to be living in a world this where there's complete goodwill and understanding. And if you cannot go halfway around the world yourself, see why the artists at ECTA promise you an unforgettable experience to enjoy the beauty of India. And we really hope to take that to the next level very soon. The next level that will bridge east and west, old and new. I used to rule the world Seas would rise when I gave the word Now in the morning I see The evolution of movement Welcome to Art Form Studio in Mission Viejo. Why are people from all over Orange County giving their rave reviews, five stars, and thumbs up? Art Form Studio has become the preferred destination for Pilates to professional dance training and for people of all ages who want to reach their potential, from new moms to soccer moms, from athletes to elite dancers, and housewives to retirees. Now the old king is dead. How are the owners incorporating their own world-class expertise as professionally trained dancers? And why are guests so happy with the way art form helps them condition their bodies and achieve balance in their lives? Find out how art form studio is making the human body an ideal place to spend our lives. Martial arts, not just a form of self-defense, but a way of life. Yeah. Ildo Taekwondo is led by a legendary grandmaster with 50 years of training. How do students here aspire to the school's five principles of human behavior, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and an indomitable spirit? How has Ildo expanded from the first Taekwondo school in Irvine more than 30 years ago to three locations in Orange County? Why has Zildo been voted the best martial arts school by readers of the OC Register? Find out about Ildo Taekwondo and empower your mind and body. And that's our show. Thank you for joining us. I'm Farlan Chang. We'll see you next time here on Must See in OC TV.